So, I was going to Uber. I was going to Uber downtown Philadelphia because I wanted to go hit the Rocky Steps. I wanted to hit the world famous Rocky Steps. My boy Jason really wanted me to go hit the Rocky Steps. But here's the issue. First of all, it's raining. And I am nine miles from downtown, right? So if I'm nine miles downtown, then I have to take an Uber, okay? Now, it's about $28 to take an Uber right now to downtown, okay? So 20, 25 to 28. So I'm gonna take an Uber down there. I'm gonna eat like a $20, $30 meal and then I'm gonna Uber back. So by the time it's all said and done, I'm looking at like 75 bucks. Now, I really don't mind spending that money to go explore Philadelphia for the first time ever, but here's my issue with spending that money. I don't wanna spend that much money and then have to walk around in the rain for two hours. like. Because not, you know, I mean, getting downtown is one thing, but then I still got to go explore downtown, right? I got to find a place to eat Philly cheesesteak. I got to take pictures. I got to take video. I'm probably going to run into some people, meet some people, want to want to hang out with them. So I, I think I'm just not going to do it because I don't want to spend 75 to 100 bucks and then still have to walk around in the rain for two hours. Basically, that's my excuse. Maybe I'm being a little broad about it, but also it's already 3.30, right? And I have to get up at 3.30 in the morning to deliver this load. I am sleeping at, not only am I sleeping at, but I'm sleeping inside the property of where I'm delivering inside the gate. So they're really cool over here. They let us spend the night here. You could stay here before and after you deliver, it's fine. Um, so basically, I'm comfy. I don't wanna I don't wanna go explore Philly for the first time in the rain. Basically, that's what it is. Not only do I not want to get wet, but since it's raining out, there's really not gonna be anybody out and about, you know, socializing downtown. So what I did was I ordered because I my number one priority being in Philly was to get me a Philly cheesesteak, right? That was my number one priority. So I ordered DoorDash from Frank's Steaks and Burgers, okay? I'm getting me a ribeye Philly cheesesteak with a side of fried Oreos. I've never had a fried Oreo. Never had a fried Oreo. I think I might have actually I might be lying I'd have to check with my friend but I think I had a fried Oreo last year at the Phoenix or at the Arizona State Fair if I did have an Oreo a fried Oreo then I was too drunk to even remember it but but that that would be the only time I've ever had a fried Oreo but I'm gonna say I haven't had one because I don't even remember eating it I do remember the girl I was with saying, hey, they got fried Oreos, but I can't remember if I bought one or not. If I did buy one, I was not too impressed with it at all, but I got three fried Oreos coming and a fat Philly cheesesteak, and it cost me $48, $48. So it cost me like, it cost me like, $29 for the food. It cost me a $4 uh, DoorDash delivery fee. And then um, like 4 or $5 in taxes and fees, I think. And then uh, I gave the dude or the chick uh, a $10 tip. Uh, is a $10 tip too much for my bill? Yeah, probably. But you know what? I know what it's like to work off of tips. Stephanie works off of tips. She does DoorDash from time to time. I know what it's like to drive all the way across town for a $2 tip or a $5 tip. So 
no, I'm not gonna get down like that. And since I'm saving the money on the Uber that I'm not gonna take downtown, I'll share that wealth with the Uber driver. It's all good. So when that food gets here, we will continue this video. So I forgot something. I, I also got, there's my deep fried Oreos right there. But I also got mozzarella sticks. Oh yeah. Let's get this stuff open and see what it looks like. We'll try these. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yep. Wow. Let's see what the reviews were on this place. Frank's Steaks and Burgers. 4.3 out of 716 reviews. And this is where they're located. All right, let's get into the whole reason we paid so much money. Let's get into it. All right, I got a cheesesteak with provolone and some sweet peppers. Let me see if they gave me a knife. They did. Wow. I haven't used a plastic knife in years and these things are getting flimsier and flimsier and flimsier. I think I should ask for extra cheese, but the meat, yeah, the meat's del de delicious. The sweet peppers are perfectly prepared. The bread is buttery smooth, buttery good. I just wish there was more cheese. But I'll tell you what, this is only my second time ordering DoorDash in the last four and a half years. The first time was during uh, the, the, the pandemic. And, and it came from a bar in, I think, I, where was I? I think I was in Phoenix, come to think about it. I was in Phoenix with May Trucking Company. And that food tasted like shit. So the fact that this came through DoorDash, it's delicious. I wonder if that has anything to do with my big tip, how fast he got it over here. Also, they're only 3.2 miles down the road. I was going to walk, but I didn't feel like walking six miles through the ghetto in the rain. You know what I mean? Because I would have been walking in some, some real questionable areas down here. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try an Oreo and then I'm gonna get to the rest of my food in privacy. Oh man.
You know what? I'm glad I tried the deep fried Oreo, but it's just not my style. You know, if I'm going to eat just a bunch of fried batter, I'd rather have it around some some uh, some mozzarella. You know what I mean? You feel me? To be honest, I will actually take the mozzarella sticks over the fried Oreos. Yeah. But I give this place a solid seven and a half out of ten. And that's pretty that's pretty decent because I I'm a real foodie and I, I eat food across this whole country, so to give them a seven and a half, I think they're still doing very, very well, and I would definitely recommend the place. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it for me, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you. As a side note, was this meal worth $48? No. No. And even if I would have knocked the tip down a little bit and we called it $45, still not worth it. Still not. I don't believe it was worth it. Um, knowing what I know now, would I, would I have done it again? Yes, probably. Just because it's my first time in Philadelphia. I had to try an authentic Philly cheesesteak from Philadelphia. And I will say this is probably the, the best cheesesteak I've ever had. I mean, I believe, I believe maybe it is. Yeah. It's definitely top, top two for sure. Definitely top. It, it might be a close, close second place.